This is a video on how to inspect your skirting for winter. Please remember this is for educational use only and we are not responsible for any damage that is caused by you using this video. Hello, my name is Patrick. Um, I've been in the manufactured housing business for over 25 years. Um, we're here today just to show you how to inspect, um, get ready for winter time, make sure your skirting has been installed properly and you don't have any problems in the future with rodents or um, frozen water pipes in the winter time. Um, I recommend that you go around your whole home. Make sure that the top rail, um, the back and front rail is securely fastened. You can go around just real quick, push on it, feel. You'll tell if there's any loose locations. If they are, they should be attended to immediately. Um, and also you should check and make sure you have the proper ventilation so you don't have any moisture damage underneath the home. There's two different style panels. There's what we call a solid panel, absolutely no ventilation. And then we have a ventilated panel that is a center vent. Um, check our blog, shows you some recommendations of how much center vent, and also check your local bill inspector for local colds. Um, typically, with a center vent, you're gonna see approximately half of your home is gonna to need to be vented. Um, but again, check your local codes. And I would also go through and check your bottom rail to make sure that's fastened. You can go around the whole outside. You can tell if it's uneven, push it in, skirting not level. There's a lot of indicators to tell you that it's not installed properly or loose. So really check that very, very closely. Um, you see this here. This has a weed eater guard that's been installed. It helps prevent any damage caused in the summertime by weed eating. Um, very good piece of, you know, to have on your home. Um, and also look and see if you have any holes. If you have holes, you should replace the skirting. Or an option, if it's less than four inches off the ground, you can install weed eater guard. It could help, you know, save you a little bit of money and um, prevent rodents from getting in. And then uh, check your skirting. Again, make sure there's no damage. Make sure it's installed into that bottom rail nice and tight. And then we have a crimp tool that all panels should be crimped. This aids in um, pressure where the snow pushes against it and also wind pressure. It leaves a little crimping notch in the bottom. Also on the top, this should be done on the pieces of panel that push forward and you can see when you look closely. The stuff installs pretty easily. Just clips in place on both sides. little rail system that slides down in place and allows you to remove the skirting at any time possible that you need to. And make sure it's down into that bottom tread. You can see where that crimp device doesn't allow it to come up, so that tells me it's been installed properly. Then the top rail that I said, you know, make sure it's installed. It's just real easy. Clips right into place. Start at one end. You can feel it snapped in. See it's nice and secure. Make sure all your overlaps are overlapped properly. And if it looks nice and neat, it's most likely installed properly. Thank you very much.